problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the moon and the pressure be cold Look at my blessings, I feel like I'm falling, the birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted, the vote and affection I summon and tell me cause Starbucks, Starbucks ready? Is first. Dang. So we're here, streetcar takeover. It literally just opened up. So everyone's getting all the booths set up. There's Frankenstein out over there. Shout out JR. So they're getting their booth set up. Amp set up over here. Streetcar takeover booth. Deech works over there. And uh, we're about to go get the Mustang teched in. Look at that badass ZR1 on billet specialties. Woo. Got a sick ass Viper over here. Where you at, Kev? All right, so this is the Bullet's car right here. If you guys don't follow him already, Bullet WS6. Twin turbo trans damn, this thing is sick. So, and this is Slow Mock Racing. A badass Mustang, look at that thing. That thing is so sick, golly. Check out this stick shift coyote. This is actually John Miller's car. Built by Joe Holt. Stick shift car goes eights. I think it's sick. Oh my gosh! What'd you do? Wasn't it? <laughs> so the guy went to write the numbers and the thing just exploded after they just spent some time cleaning the street truck. Randy! Uh, someone get Randy over here. So uh, we're about to tech in. They got the roll racing starting already over there. Probably try and film some of that just so you guys can see the roll racing. But. Alright guys, so we gotta go on a cruise right now because you know that's what street cars do is they take cruises. Here's what's funny, so a daily driver car doesn't have to do a cruise before the race. Psh, psh. Anyways, street racer class, we gotta do a cruise and there is some fast cars. I don't plan to go rounds, but we'll see what happens. You never know with the tanks thing, sometimes it'll surprise you. But uh, either either way, you can make uh, test hits in between, so we'll probably just make some test passes if we get out first round. Like there's Mr. Demonology himself. Look at creepy. <laughs> that ain't no street car.
show y'all what's up. guys so just a little recap over the weekend had an awesome time Friday obviously I broke the stock bottom in gen 3 coyote record which I'm sure I won't hold it very long because these new Mustangs are just going super fast but it's pretty cool to have a record even if it's for like five seconds no big deal but I can turn the Mustang up a little bit more I'm just you know it is a stock bottom end I don't even have oil pump gears on the car, so I, I really don't wanna break something and then have that sent through the turbo and mess up the turbo and mess up the heads. So I'm kinda a little conservative on it, but I do wanna try turning it up a couple more pounds of boost before the end of the season, because we are you know, obviously getting here towards winter and the tracks are starting to shut down, but there is one more race this weekend. I'm gonna try and hit it. I'm pretty sure I'm going to Oklahoma City Noble Thunder Valley Raceway, it's the last streetcar takeover. They're actually hiring a third party company to come out and prep the track, so it's supposed to be really sticky. Pretty decent DA, obviously it's gonna be cooling off and uh, should go some fast times. I don't know if I'll go any faster than I did in Dallas, but I would like to, I don't know. I say I wanna try and go some rounds, you always wanna try and go some rounds, but I'm still kinda outnumbered in that class. Um, I had a really good opportunity on Saturday actually to at least make it past the first round. But as you saw in the video, what had happened, he obviously treated the crap out of me. Super cool dude, I think his name was Luke. He had an awesome uh, built Coyote swapped Fox body with a single turbo. We had pretty much the same size turbo actually, a 76 millimeter, he just had a bigger exhaust housing. So similar setups, just his was in a Fox body and he had a built bottom end. But anyways, he treated the crap out of me and I started coming, I was riding his bumper, I was about to come around him and the left tire on the driver's side I had started veering towards the center and uh, I felt the left tire just hit and it kicked me to the right and then kicked me left and I tapped the brake. So at that point, you kind of make a split decision. It's either stay in it and try and win, which I think if I would have stayed in it, there's two things that would have happened. I either would have passed him or you hear the fire trucks? 
or they would be coming for me. That was probably perfect timing. But uh, yeah, so that's the problem is you either stay in it and try and win it or you stay in it and you end up spinning out and hitting the wall. And it just, for me, it wasn't worth it. It's first round. I was just out there really to run some good times in my car to still get used to it. It's still only the third time out with the car. And uh, I'm just kind of really having fun with it and just enjoying it. But it was a really good race. It was an awesome race. He obviously treated the crap out of me, but uh, my car did have the power to kind of run him down. But I did have to let off at the end as I was about to come around him, but no big deal. Saturday was just a really, really long day. Um, we had, they had a bunch of oil downs. I mean, it was insane. I think I read something. At first it was seven cars that broke Friday night because the track was so sticky. And then I had first heard Saturday was over 20, but someone's telling me it's even more than that. Like upwards of 30 cars had broke on Saturday. The TJ Bailey prep out there was just, it was insane and it was on point. And so the problem was that when someone would break down, they would have to start all over and they'd already spent so much time prepping the track. So I don't know. So test and tune was supposed to start at four o'clock. It was like from four to six. And <laughs> I got one test pass and I didn't even run my test and tune pass until like 6.30, 6.45. And I didn't even film it because at that point I'd, I'd forgot about everything. I was just kind of pushing my car. And then once I would get to test, I would actually test and I didn't even turn the camera on. No one was filming, but no big deal. I actually ended up blowing the tires off. So what we did was we turned the RPM down by 100 and turned the boost down by 5% so I could just get it to leave for that first round, which is where I lost. But at least the car made a good pass. That's all I wanted to do because I knew I was outnumbered in that class. I just wanted to make a good, clean A to B pass and I'd be happy going home. So the car did go 8.6 at like 146 or 149 because obviously I let off but it still went another 550 in the eighth. So I think the way that the car is set up right now and I can get it to hook every time, it's a consistent 126 to 127 car in the 60 foot. It's a consistent 554 to a 558 car and it's a consistent 854 to a 86 car. It's, it's super consistent and uh, you know I'm really happy with that but now I'm ready to push it and see if we can go a little bit faster. We do have the stock bottom end obviously still in the car, so I can only turn it up so much, but I think it's got about three to four more pounds of boost that we can push it, maybe two to three. I don't know, it's, it's one of those things. It could blow on 10 pounds of boost and it could not blow on 19 pounds of boost, so who knows? But the car was doing about 14 to 15 pounds of boost on the top end, so I'd like to see if we could try 16, 17, maybe even 18, and just kind of see what the car can do because I'm just interested really to see what it can do on the stock bottom end. But had an awesome weekend. Huge shout out to Randy for helping me out. You follow him, Randy Detailer, on Instagram. Huge thanks to Kennedy for taking some awesome photos and always being there and supporting me. And uh, huge thanks to our buddy Enrique for helping out. And uh, if you guys saw, his was the black Silverado. He was having some issues with the truck he was trying to figure out. So hopefully he's going to get those fixed. And uh, hopefully he's going to make some good passes this weekend, Oklahoma City. Streetcar Joe for building the car obviously with me. And uh, he will actually, my phone's going off like crazy. He will actually be Oklahoma City this weekend. Streetcar Joe will be there. I know a lot of people are wondering where he was. He had some family stuff he was doing. It was his daughter's birthday. So he couldn't make it to Streetcar Takeover Dallas, but he will be in the building. Streetcar Takeover, Streetcar Joe, Oklahoma City. He will be there and uh, he will be looking to go back to back winning. If you guys don't remember last Oklahoma City Streetcar Takeover, he won the small tire class and was second place to Derek Kelly in the street racer class, which is the class that I'm in, which I don't know why, but uh, so it'll be really awesome to watch him go some rounds. Hopefully I'll be able to bring my car out, do some test and tune passes, make some clean hits and see if we can't beat that number or maybe even go some rounds. That would be awesome. Really awesome weekend over there at street car takeover. It's always an awesome event, good turnout and some good friends. I did a horrible job at filming. Kennedy and I literally talked about this yesterday when we got back is it's kind of hard. Like I was trying to enjoy streetcar takeover for what it was. I was trying to pay attention to the car and I just wasn't filming like I should have been. It's kind of hard when you're a one man show, you know, when you're trying to vlog yourself and then at the same time race a car, it's a lot easier when you go there just to video or you go there just to race, but to do both, it's uh, it's definitely tough. So I've got to get a little bit better about filming in between rounds, especially because there's a lot of downtime with how many cars had broke and uh, I should have been filming in between. I really, I started the morning out good filming and then once uh, the cars, once we went on the cruise and got back and they had those huge oil downs, I just stopped filming and uh, kind of just hung out and talked to a bunch of people and just had a good time and trying to enjoy some friends and uh, 
I should have been filming though. So I'll try and get better about filming for you guys. It's just kind of hard when you go out of town. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video, comment down below. And a huge thanks to all the sponsors that have been helping out. This car would be nowhere near where it is today without them. TG Motorsports, Motion Raceworks, BMR Suspension, Tycon Industries, and uh, very soon, Frankenstein and RPG Engines will be helping out with the car and... I can't say too much, but that car's gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> it's gonna be a good time. So luckily I'm kind of figuring out the car now. I'm getting kind of comfortable with it. And uh, that way we can turn it up and make some more power and I'll be comfortable at that power level. But one other thing, if you guys saw the car was bumping like crazy, I do have a smooth stage bump. We're trying to figure it out. It needs a new boost controller. It probably needs a CO2 system to be more consistent on the boost. And I need a different bump system. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys on the next one. I'm gonna end this video with some pictures that Kennedy took and we'll see you guys on the next one. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and tell me. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and. about nothing why won't you go get you a dollar or something don't hang with a who line for nothing i see that we different you riding i double my don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds don't go to your places i know that they sunken don't call me your brother i barely could trust you i talk to a shorty she bagging the bucket and i'ma need all of my dollars on corporate so hand me the money i did be the pot i'ma give all of my people a portion to build them a fortune on flipping the ride i can't be mixy when iffy the vibe and 40 on 50 is really the time why is you all on my phone like you want me like you wasn't pushing the kid to the side i don't know if you Thinking I'm blind, close on my crosses and doubt on my eyes Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures I know it's a lesson, that's worth it the wise Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing, I know I've been missing I needed some personal time, all the pictures, dimensions I know what you did, just I mean it, I'm staying inside